Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be slightly different than what I have been making since the last several months. I made a series of videos on machine learning, but machine learning comes much later and machine learning is probably the easiest part nowadays in data analytics because we have all the packages and tools available for machine learning. You don't have to write all the course from scratch to do the machine learning part. So to get to the machine learning model, you need to go through these few steps. Data cleaning, because in the real world, you do not get data that are perfectly organized and clean and pure. There are lots of impurities, there are null values, outliers. Sometimes data doesn't come in the right format. So you have to deal with all that. And then feature selection. You may have 100 features in a data set. But maybe all these features are not necessary or not relevant to the target variable. So to find out which features are actually relevant to your target variable, you need to perform an efficient feature selection method. Then data engineering. I already made a video on how to handle null values. That's part of feature engineering and there are lots of other feature engineering you may have to do. So my next few videos will be on a few feature selection methods. It is important to know few different feature selection methods because after you do few different feature selection methods, then you will be able to make a decision on which features are best fit for your model or your problem. Today, we will see how to perform feature selection using correlation matrix, probably the simplest method for feature selection. And slowly in my upcoming videos, we will move towards some more complex ones, but none of the feature selection methods are too complicated. All of them are fairly simple. Let's work on an example to see how we can select important features based on a correlation matrix. So first I will import pandas as heading, heading, create this data frame df using this pd.readcsv method. And I have the housing one dot csv dataset. Please feel free to download the dataset from the link in the description box below. And df dot. This is the dataset. I just want to drop this unnamed zero column. You can see this is just the ID. We do not need that. Df equals to df dot drop columns. This on me zero just I will copy from here and put it here. Let's see how DF looks right now. Yeah, we do not have that column anymore. Now see we have this price column. Let's assume this price is our target variable. So we are trying to predict price using all the other variables here. Now the question is if all these variables are even necessary or if all these variables are even relevant to price or related to price. So that's what we are going to figure out. And now you can ask me, what's wrong if we just put all this data in it? There are two things. First thing is, you don't want to predict based on unnecessary or irrelevant data. That prediction may not be that useful for you in the long run. And also using these unnecessary extra variables may cause overfitting. Let's see how many columns do we have. Okay, these are all the columns. Let's see the number of columns to begin with. Then, so these are the columns. You have 13 columns. As we already mentioned, we will select the features based on the correlation matrix. So first, let's make the correlation matrix. df.score. That's all we need. Here is the correlation matrix. So you get the correlation of each variables with the rest of the variables. But we do not need all of them. We only need the price, right? We only need the correlation of all the variables with price because price is our target variable. So target goes to core dot price. So that's what it is. Let's see. How it looks like. If you need a refresher on what all these values mean, the correlation values ranges between 0 to 1. 
zero being no correlation at all and one is the highest correlation. You can see the highest correlation is one and price one because the price will correlate with itself the highest, right? The maximum, so it's one. And you see that this is 0.09 water heating. That means this is really little correlation, the worst correlation as I can see here. Now, how you can select features from it? I will take the variables that has correlation more than 0.3. The target. Now, look, we have a negative value here as well, but we do not care about positive or negative values. We only want to see the strength of the correlation. I should get the absolute value of the correlation. So you see, there is no negative anymore. Target greater than 0.3. So now, see the target. Now, I used 0.3 here. You can use 0 0.25, 0 0.4, whatever feels suitable for your project or your data set. Now, if I do this, then you get the name of the variables and you can see the price here but you know that we cannot use price as the features when we are trying to predict the price so i will just start from one so you see we don't use price anymore so let's see how many of them we have right now so we have eight features total this is how you can select features for your model using correlation matrix. In my next video, I will show you another method of feature selection. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.